Flexibility, extended network reach, enhanced security. These are all things you're going to want. And these are things you can get by connecting Google VPC networks to other networks in your system. There are several effective ways to accomplish this. One option is to start with a virtual private network connection over the internet and use Cloud VPN to create a tunnel connection. To make the connection more dynamic, you can use Cloud Router. Cloud Router lets other networks and Google VPC exchange route information over the VPN using the Border Gateway Protocol. Using this method, if you add a new subnet to your Google VPC, your on-premises network will automatically get routes to it. But using the internet to connect networks isn't always the best option for everyone, either because of security concerns or because of bandwidth reliability. So a second option is to consider peering with Google, using direct peering. Peering means putting a router in the same public data center as a Google point of presence and using it to exchange traffic between networks. And Google has more than 100 points of presence around the world. Customers who aren't already in a point of presence can work with a partner in the Carrier Peering program to get connected. Carrier Peering gives you direct access from your on-premises network through a service provider's network to Google Workspace and to Google Cloud products that can be exposed through one or more public IP addresses. One downside of Peering, though, is that it isn't covered by a Google service level agreement. If getting the highest uptimes for interconnection is important, using a dedicated interconnect would be a good solution. This option allows for one or more direct private connections to Google. If these connections have topologies that meet Google's specifications, they can be covered by an SLA of up to 99.99%. Also, these connections can be backed by a VPN for even greater reliability. Now, another option is Partner Interconnect, which provides connectivity between an on-premises network and a VPC network through a supported service provider. This is a good option if a data center is in a physical location that can't reach a dedicated interconnect co-location facility, or if an entire 10 gigabytes per second connection isn't needed. Depending on available needs, Partner Interconnect can be configured to support mission-critical services or applications that can tolerate some downtime. Now, as with dedicated Interconnect, if these connections have topologies that meet Google's specifications, they can be covered by an SLA of up to 99.99%. But note that Google isn't responsible for any aspects of Partner Interconnect provided by the third-party service provider, nor any issues outside of Google's network. And the final option is cross-cloud interconnect. With this option, you can establish high bandwidth dedicated connectivity between Google Cloud and another cloud service provider. Google provisions a dedicated physical connection between the Google network and that of another cloud service provider. You can use this connection to peer your Google virtual private cloud network with your network that's hosted by a supported cloud service provider. Cross-Cloud Interconnect supports your adoption of an integrated multi-cloud strategy. In addition to supporting various cloud service providers, Cross-Cloud Interconnect offers reduced complexity, site-to-site -site data transfer, and encryption. Cross-Cloud Interconnect connections are available in two sizes, 10 gigabytes per second or 100 gigabytes per second. And with that, we've reached the end of both this video and this YouTube course on virtual machines and networking in the cloud. We hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in learning more about all things Google Cloud, check out the Google Cloud Fundamentals Core Infrastructure course, link in the description. Thanks for watching.